Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidstedt. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I want to talk about gear, specifically very old gear. I found a camera at a thrift store from 1950. I think they started making these in the 30s. It's made out of Bakelite plastic. The Argus Company was actually, I found out through a little bit of research, was an old radio company. They made Bakelite radios. And when radios were popular was, I think, in the fall and winter when the weather wasn't so good and people would sit inside and listen to the radio. But come summertime, they weren't buying as many radios because they were going outside more. So this company started making cameras and they changed their name from, I think it was IRC, something radio corporation, to Argus for their cameras. And this camera to me looks like a little vintage 1930s Leica one wannabe. It's got this crazy little leather case that looks perfect. And it's, it's Art Deco. The thing it looks like, you know, it's certainly not the most common looking camera. And it's 35 millimeter, it's got a coated lens. So like in, by 1950, people were interested in color photography, so they put right on it, coated, making sure you knew you could shoot color pictures with this. This is going to be one of those cameras that I'm going to walk around with and shoot a roll of film with. I'm not sure how much I'll use it, but it was included in a box. There was a thrift store that they kind of like keep an eye out on photography items for me for my, my uh, studio where I teach. And the guy said, hey, I have a bunch of cameras you can look through. And there were a lot of old plastic cameras, a lot of junk cameras and some broken cameras that I wouldn't want. But I ended up getting uh, an ME, Pentax ME, a Pentax K1000, a couple of lenses for those a 120 box camera and this all for 40 bucks and that was a simple little treat because it's some cameras that i can use for the studio but some cameras are just sort of fun like the 120 box camera it's got a waist level viewfinder it's probably from the 30s it's also art deco looking like this and you know it's it's for me it's it's maybe a throwback to walk around with those cameras to walk around and put this to my eye and to take photographs is like that's there's something very simple about this you can double expose all day long there's nothing to stop you so this is actually the Argus FA if you're looking for one they look like they're on eBay all day long for 20 bucks 30 bucks and I bet you can find it for 10 if you just watch for it, they don't seem like they're worth much more. And they have this crazy little thing where they, they spring out and then you focus in two positions, six to 15 feet or 15 to infinity. That's it. And then you can put it away, spring it back, close it up, back in the case and sit there for another couple years. So that's a fun little find. I love the look of it. I feel like I like the ones that are actually this is the FA because they added this flash little module. I think it would look nicer aesthetically if it didn't have that. And there are models like the A and the A2, I think, or the A2B or some of those that don't have that. And uh, but can't be choosy when you're picking through a box of cameras. All right. That's today's photography talk. Do you like these old cameras as much as I do? I certainly have a bunch of them. It's a treat for me and hopefully you're inspired to go out and shoot with some simplicity sometimes. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and I'll bring you more. Thanks.